Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Man the Maker and welcome to a new Let's Play for Star Traders Frontiers. We are back and we're going to give it another shot. There's been a new update released, um, I don't know, a week, within the past week of this recording, uh, introducing strike craft. So there are now fighters, bombers, sort of things. We've got uh, shuttles that you can board with from range 5. Lots of interesting things. None of that is available from the get-go, and they're very, very, very expensive uh, to be able to actually access, as makes sense, uh, it turns out, and for a beginning star trader, it's kind of out of the budget to have a massive carrier ship um, going uh, <laughs> under your command. And uh, yeah, so we're going to give this another shot. Last time we played, we uh, were doing it on possible. We were doing a ship combat boarding kind of exploration run. Ended in ways that, uh, in the way that so many have ended, encountering a Xeno without a hyperwarp navigator. Well, we're not going to make that mistake again, I assure you. Um, I'm also going to actually play on hard difficulty. I can't always do impossible. It's it's too stressful, <laughs> and, and I don't. I mean, I'm not. Uh, I don't feel confident enough in my ship combat capabilities. Um, to do that because we are going to be going again for for ship combat um, But this time we're gonna try and go for a bit of that shooty bang bang. We're gonna go as a military officer I'm kind of playing the role of a military officer as well. I think we're gonna we're gonna actually try and do Some missions. I'm gonna see I Mean I, like this is a not not a strategy that I've actually really employed is trying to just do missions um and uh, make money that way. We are, of course, you know, going to be focusing a bit on patrolling and blockading, as will befit some of our talents. But um, we're, I mean, and we'll blow some people up too when we get into fights. Um, still going to probably run for a long time if we encounter anyone big and scary. Um, so I've uh, gone and set up the captain. We can we can look at what I've built here. We've got Mo over here. Um, this is my second time. Uh, trying a military officer. I think it was my my second run that I did. Possibly it was on Impossible, and I made six episodes as that military officer before just getting squashed. But um, this time, you know, I'm going in. I know a bit more about the game, and uh, we can take a look at the build that we have here. So, level A, we've got skills, max tactics, max command and a little bit of doctor now we want these because they help with ship combat the the four most uh, important things five i guess for ship combat the most important skills is navigation piloting tactics command and gunnery and we're going to really try and uh, max those things out for us um as much as we possibly can so that we don't just die um you know, I, I really don't know. I mean, playing on hard is always difficult for me because I'm in the impossible mindset. And I'm always a bit more frightened of things than I should be sometimes. And then maybe I get complacent. And then maybe, you know, I take fights that I shouldn't and end the game that way. Um, we are going to start off as a military officer. But I don't, I don't know if we're going to boost up um, that initially. I don't know if we're going to level up our military officer. They do have tactics and command, which is a big reason why I did select them. Um, or select it as my starting job. Um, I would also consider commander, but I don't actually have it unlocked, so um, we did go with that. We've got attributes up next because charisma and wisdom are just fantastic uh, for everything. Um, they're just really, really good in, in so many, so many different things. We boosted up resilience as well a little bit. Um, we're not going to be using getting into any ship combat or rather crew combat. If at all, I need I need some water. That's my problem. Ugh. Messing up my words here because <clears throat> I'm thirsty. Ah, uh, refreshing. Yeah. So I mean, charisma and wisdom—they they just help with so many skill checks, so many missions. So important. We now went with the Paladin Cruiser, um, the best combat ship that I could afford with putting attributes and skills on top. Pretty sturdy ship. Not so slow. Um, decent crew size, decent cargo hold, decent armor and such. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at that in a little bit. Um, decent weapons as well. Kind of kitted out for long range combat. Um, I think what I'm going to want to do is, is try and build towards um, 
like a medium range brawler really kind of like focusing in on ranges three and four something i've never done um i did think about doing someone that that aims to get in super close and then uh fight from there but i feel like if you do that you should also just kind of really work on the the boarding abilities which i i, I don't want to do um and last we've got at d we've got our context politician and military commander i picked those Primarily because I want to be able to get a diplomat because they help out with missions. They help out with faction uh, quite a bit and I, I think I want one on board my ship and the military commander gives us access to more engineers which will also be pretty useful because they are a little bit difficult to get and very useful um, if you are fighting a lot. Contacts that I'm going to want or really job classes that I'm going to want, going to want to want, uh, going to want to want, going to want, job classes that I want. <laughs> Best way of saying that um you know we're going to be really putting a lot into um piloting navigation gunnery electronics is also very uh it can be pretty useful um we're going to look to pick up some commanders um some spies engineers more mechanics probably a diplomat probably also a merchant at some point if we can fit them but we'll have to see about that and uh, I think that's, you know, that's uh, getting a nice round out of those things is going to be useful for us because we're going to be trying to run missions and doing patrols, um, a zealot as well. If we can pick up one, you know, getting access to those talents are useful if you're patrolling and um, blockading often. So we'll see. I mean, but it, it also depends on what we can actually find out there. And uh, I mean, my end goal here, right, is to be able to survive long enough and make enough money to actually uh, get a carrier. Will I be able to do that? I don't know. I'm, I'm so used to playing on Impossible and just dying early that, uh, or playing on a class that avoids fights as much as possible, getting rich, but not being built for any kind of combat. So we'll see, it's gonna be interesting. I've actually gone and started the game. Um, we, can, we can go ahead and look a little bit at my settings. We are playing as uh, Tulum. Because I want that uh, faster repair time, it actually makes a pretty significant difference, I think. Starport is nice too, always useful to have everywhere, and economy is also just useful to have um, to have everywhere, you know, just having more things to buy and sell is, is pretty useful no matter what you're doing. Playing on hard, I did manually sign my talents, but I already took care of that. And um, yeah, we're playing on the default map, as I pretty much always do. We are male. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look. We got Captain, uh, or just Mo. It's just Mo. Military officer Mo. I don't know. I'm, I'm a clever guy. There he is. We're Mo the Mustache Man. And let's go ahead and dive in. Now, as I said, I've already assigned my talents. And I'm probably not going to really go over that right now. Um, but there is a couple of things that we're going to want to do. So one thing. Immediately off the bat, we need, we need to get... A navigator we freaking need to get a navigator as an officer immediately I'm not messing around I've died so many times from that um, it's real bad we're gonna level up the doctor we're going to level up um, a navigator um, depending on how quickly we get a secondary engineer I might um, make the engineer a navigator there's also the possibility of the quartermaster, and I, I think we might make him a commander. Though there's something to be said as well about, you know, selecting them to be a pilot or a gunner, because those are just so important for us. Um, everything else that we've gone is pretty much down. A, a nice spread of things. We don't really need to worry too much about it. Here's our ship. We actually start off with a medical bay, which is interesting, and not something that I really remember happening. Um, and I think if we look at your talents... Yeah, we can actually get Treat Wounded, which is probably something we're going to want to want. Uh, God, I keep saying that. We're going to want um, so people die less because we are going to get shot. I mean, for sure. For sure we're going to get shot. So we're going to want to try and take care of that. Um, other than that, we're going to need to boost up our navigation, our pilot, our gunnery, 
those are kind of priority uh, number one. We might end up doing that with some of our weapon, um, some of our modules here. I mean, we've got this mass dampener. We've got these guns. Might strip off the Phoenix Lance. I'm not sure how much use that is. You can see here with our guns, we've got two torpedoes, so that's max range. Um, we've got an Ares missile system, so max range, two medium long range. Um, this medical bay is, is interesting. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold on to it, but we'll see. We'll see. We also had a large fuel boost here, uh, which is pretty interesting to start with that. And I mean, we may consider dropping that off, but we'll kind of have to see, uh, kind of have to figure out exactly the situation with that. We're going to want more armor. We're going to want more shields. Um, obviously having more defense is also good, but we're, you know, we're not the fastest ship, so we're going to try and, I don't know, like I, I always go for the dodge, but maybe there's something to be said about boosting up armor, right? Which just, is just the amount of damage that you take. And shields, right? So you take less damage to your crew, which uh, is hugely, hugely important. Hugely important. In fact, this is probably, forget the armor. Shields is probably what we're going to want to really try and focus on, which I've never done. Again, I've never put that focus on. So we're going to kind of learn as we go along. Um, our ship is full up right now as is our officers. We are going to want to get another officer um, as soon as we possibly can. Possibly stripping out the Phoenix uh, Lance to unlock that. Um, but of course we will need some money before we go ahead and do that. We've got, again, nice, nice large cargo hold here. Really don't know if we need this large fuel tank, but well, we'll have to go ahead and see. And um, yeah, I think... We're going to be ready to go. I mean, what do we start off with? Of course, we have a trade ban with Alta Mesa. Um, you know, until we get higher levels, we don't really want to piss anybody off too much. We want to have skip off the void to be able to run away. So you got to be careful if you only have one. Save it for the Xeno. Um, we are going to start off, of course, with our compelling passenger. Just do it. Just make the money. It takes us to our contact. Um, no reason to not do it. We do have a contact here. Which which one is that? Our politician is here. Picking up a diplomat early on will be nice, but of course, again, we actually need to make money before we can uh, even really consider doing that. So we can go ahead and take a look here. Counter um, some stuff, get some free rep. Yeah, I think, <coughs> unfortunately, anything that can cause us to spend money is probably not worth it. Because if we take damage, we're gonna just get we're just gonna get messed up. So instead, yeah, we'll just go there, navigate, pick her up, spend money on fuel, spend money on failing some tests over here. As you do, not much can be done about that, you know. You just gotta just gotta take it, take the licks. I don't really care what you have to say. We cut a deal, can you? Yeah, just come aboard. We'll figure things out. Um, we'll buy the fuel can't actually do any repairs or anything. And we'll just take a look at the spying. You know, maybe there's a chance that nothing can actually damage us if we do this. Hmm. I'm willing to reroll this one. Of course, we take a little damage, but we pass the test and we gain some experience. Nice. Yeah, I don't really want to fight a bounty hunter, so we're just going to go on. Um, yes, yes, whatever you have to say. Gonna completely skip all this stuff. One thing that I might do, which I've never done before, is side with her faction, right? At some point she'd begin to try and uh, do some political movement. Never done it, but I'm curious. I am curious as to what that can take us down. And, you know, we are military officers, so we, you know, we feel strongly about things. Uh, we feel strongly about factions and such. And yeah, of course, we start off feeling strongly about Tulum, but maybe she's onto something. We don't know what that is just yet, but we'll figure that out at some point. Let's go ahead and drop you off. Yes, roll out the red carpet. We don't really care. Don't care. I'm sure she will aid an old friend. Yes, are we? There we go. We got money. We can uh, repair the fuel. Takes a little bit less time, 20% less time to repair, right? So that actually saved us uh, probably a day. 
which is nice you know a little bit of time off here and there and especially when you repair things and it takes like months um you know you, you having that little bit of time off does make a difference in slowing down the pace of the game all right i think we will do just some court missions for you we like to make friends with him right off the bat return shipping return shipping this is quite far away well this is only 17 au can i get a new a new mission You want me to bring the archivist. Can I take both? I cannot. Well, I think it's safe to say we will just go there, do the mission. Not going to do any trading, unfortunately, because I don't particularly want to piss off these guys for what won't probably be that much money right, with Althameza. So we'll start off. We want to make a little bit of cash right off the bat just to make sure that things go don't go... If we get into a fight and if things go south for us, that it's not disastrous. I, I always like to have that little bit of starting situation. We'll buy the fuel, repair, get that spice leave. Um, oh, okay, we did it. Apparently just, why did I? Ah, I picked it up here and I've got to go there. So, I mean, I will actually take a look at the exploration yeah like this is definitely not going to happen but now we have enough money that we can you know consider taking a little bit of damage to do these kinds of things hostile zealot we don't like at all new contract introduction i'm a big fan of this is all not so bad yeah we'll go for this one uh oh taloon bounty hunter um we can just retreat lose one reputation i'm fine with that don't want to face a pirate no not into that that's also a bit too dangerous let's just carry on with the mission we'll make a little bit of cash heavy patrols here military officers are more hostile there's a merchant we um can demand some tribute from you and retreat that seems quite nice actually small amounts of money it all adds up Hmm, let's go ahead and land and do a little exploration. It's quite a bit of damage. I'll try it. We're going to take the damage. Oh no, we actually get Terox artifacts, which are not going to be useful for us for a long time. None of this is particularly interesting to me, so we'll just go ahead and, and leave. Do our return shipping, stately manner. Right. Most power play talent gains reputation by two. Yeah, that's what I, I took a talent to give us more reputation when we complete uh, missions, which is quite nice. Gained a, a fair amount of reputation as well from this. We will buy, repair, spice leave, pay the wages, and level up. So our filter here. Okay. I think the quartermaster, you my friend, you, my friend, it's nice that you've got extra command and intimidate just for being who you are. Um, we are going to make you a navigator. Yep, 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 yep. Boost that navigation up for me, please. Get that to the highest level as quickly as possible. Engineer, we are gonna, can, we're going to make you uh, just a better engineer. It's nice to have. Um, we're probably going to pick up another engineer. Ah, I was going to make you a commander, wasn't I? Now, the military officer here. It's interesting. I mean, we're not going to go with wing bomber, wing commander, wing leader. These are all the new jobs, but uh, they're not very useful for us right now. Because um, we very, we're very, very, very far away from having uh, having anything useful for that could go into the commander with you military officer commander is uh is not bad is not bad and you do have an, a bunch of nice low level talents i think i will pick that up let's do that military officer commander i mean you are just the you are the commander dude that's that's your job that is your job everybody's healthy take a quick look mm. 
Not really too interesting for me. This is interesting for me, though. Love to get a contact introduction right off the bat. Naturally. Most protected... Yeah, so our... Oh, it's not... It's not... What did I actually take? I'm forgetting now. It's... Uh, your talent was... Power play, yes. But when patrolling and blockading... Tells us here. Patrolling or blockading... Any orbital ops cards that adds rep gets a bonus. Oh, any orbital ops card. So that's even spying as well. And we get a 10% uh, additional chance to draw the mission card, which is quite nice. I mean, we are going to be looking at doing missions, so yeah, we're out of here. Um, I will pop down. I was already here, wasn't I? Yes, I was. So let's go back. Now, I would love to be making money as a Taloon Bounty Hunter. Um, we can just retreat. We don't need to worry about you. Unpredictably low morale. I would be so pissed off if people left already. So pissed off. They did not. Thank God. <laughs> Return shipping. Public spectacle. Game plus three rep for taking a little bit longer. There's seven and eight. Nice. We make a little bit of cash. We're going to do more missions for you as well. Um, the Archivist Escort is pretty easy. In fact, both of these are pretty easy. Jotunheim. Jotunheim and Jotunheim. Can I take both? I can take both. Beautiful. That's going to be a nice, also, a little bit of a boost. Um, pay our wages, spice all, and that's gonna be it for the first episode. I try and make it go a little bit quick, like a little bit quicker, um, just to kind of get into the action a little bit, uh, a little bit less talking. So I'm pretty happy. We actually, we actually moved around. There's been times where oh, somebody is is very upset. Um, there's been times where the, the first episode was just complete, completely talking the entire time, um, which is why I don't do my talents on camera anymore um, if you're desperate to know about that well actually I'm gonna be recording this quite a bit in advance because I need to prepare for vacation so probably won't be able to respond to anything but um, as always you know I if you guys got ideas for how to play this out is my are my ideas terrible should I be focusing on something on ship combat I, I know very little bit about it. I know how it works I know how it, it works with the dice and all this and that and but um, I don't know the winning strategies. And uh, we're going to just kind of try and, and figure them out, I think, right here, right now. So if you guys got thoughts, put them down below. If you're new to the channel, I always appreciate the subscriptions. It does help us out quite a bit. And, uh, you know, if you like the episode, if you're happy I'm back in Star Traders, give it a like. If you hate this game, why are you here? You can also dislike it. But maybe, you know, check out my other content. I got lots of other things going on. Always two episodes a day. This one will be coming out every day as well. Time until we uh, die, presumably. And uh, yeah, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Again, my name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.